time, Sue. Oh, goodness, my foot. Sue, you're too heavy for that. Guys, these are the little pigs behind me here, and they're not so little anymore. I really am not sure what they weigh. Um, I would guess 150 plus, somewhere along in there, but I'm thinking maybe another month or two, uh, probably a month and a half, and they're gonna be out of here. Uh, I'm gonna keep one for this winter time to butcher myself, to try my hand at that. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and if you notice, their open feeder is not out here. That's really what I like to do, is use an open feeding system so they can get whatever they want, whenever they want. But these things have been so rambunctious that they just flip the feeder over and it's just not working so great. I even replaced the tires. I even gave, gave them a much larger big truck tire, but they're still flipping it over. So it's feeding by hand for now. We're going to be dropping some trees and hopefully cutting some framing lumber later in this video. But right now it's time to do the second mite treatment on the bees. And if you remember on, I think it was a couple videos ago, we got out the oxalic acid and the vaporizer and did the first vaporization on the bees. It's been six days I wanted to do it at five but we weren't here yesterday so uh, it's gonna have to be six days so let's go ahead and grab this stuff and get this done then we'll start cutting some trees a little chilly this morning so lots of bees are gonna be at home let's give them some smoke hopefully keep them good and calm this is what gets them going right here put this here put our vaporizer in and get some juice to it. One of the straps to my N95 mask broke, so I'm just gonna stay upwind of this nasty stuff. Sometimes you can see the vapor coming out of the front of the hive. Let's check on that. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know if y'all can see it very well though. Give it a little bit of time and it should be gone. Yep, go to the next one. Well guys, I'm crouching down again because I mentioned in a previous video that I had an accident with my tripod and it's like a foot or two shorter than it should be. So until I get around to replacing it, I'm gonna kneel down, I suppose. But uh, anyway, to the main point of this video, uh, it's time to get some of these trees down. I wanna, I've got about three hours left to work today and I wanna get as many of these trees down and logs piled up as I can. I mentioned in a previous video that we're thinning our pine lot right here just to create kind of a healthier forest out here and make make it not so cluttered. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be destined to make uh, true two by sixes out of. So let's start and get as many of these down in the next three hours as we can. the smoothest start.
that's one it takes a while because i got to make sure i get all of this junk cleaned up because the last thing that i need is a uh, pine stick or pine limb through one of the tractor tires Well guys, it's been over three hours, actually closer to three and a half hours at this point, and I'm sitting on the fruits of my labor. There are 18 logs right here that I got out of four trees of various sizes. This is the largest one right here. It's about 16 inches across right here. We'll get a lot of two by sixes out of this one. No busted tires, no injuries, and I will consider that a success. So in the morning, we'll, start, we'll, excuse me, we'll try to throw these on the mill and see what we can get out of them. Before I hang it up completely for the day, I I wanted to show you all something kind of interesting. I mentioned on a previous video that it's beggar's lice season around here and they get stuck to absolutely everything. They're on my saw chaps here, they're on my pants, they're on my shoelaces. They like to get really kind of tangled up in the shoelaces and they're a real pain to get out of anything. And somebody on the video where I mentioned the beggar's lice said, man, let your chickens do that. And it works, which is amazing. Y'all check this out. All right, guys, let's see if we can get some of these logs cut up. The morning sun is giving me some really bad lighting for making a video. I hope that that improves as I go along here. But this is our first log. This is the biggest one that we looked at yesterday, that 16 inch on the big end. It's only 12 inches on the small end. It's 10 and a half or so feet long. I'm guessing five two by sixes out of it. Let's see what we can get.
Well guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have flipped this log way too many times. If you noticed, I cut my slab off of the top and then flipped it 180 degrees and put the flat part on the very bottom so that it was on the bunks of the mill. I could have flipped it just 90 degrees and put the flat against these stops over here, but I find I get much squarer cuts if I flip it 180 degrees and then just flip it a few more extra times. But at this point, I wanted to stop for just a second and kind of show y'all what my next step step is so this is what I need is a six inch cant right and what I've got right now is a cant that's a little over 10 by probably eight something like that so in order to get the maximum amount of boards out of this log I don't want to just make a six inch cut right now and throw out whatever's not on the six inches right there are two more two by sixes in here that I can get if I make some careful cuts so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down two inches off of the top right here and get one of my two inch boards. Then I'll go down two more inches and get my other two inch boards board. And then I'll take those two boards and flip them right over here onto these bunks. And at that point, I'll put the mill at six inches and that'll cut these two boards at six inches and it'll cut my cant at six inches as well then I'll be able to flip this cant upright and start getting the rest of my two by sixes out of it. That's kind of the most efficient way to do it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Guys, one more thing before we finish up this log. I promise we'll get this thing done sometime in the next few minutes. But I wanted to show you all this board right here. There is a ton of wane on this board. The wane is this kind of angled section right here where the bark is. And it runs the entire length of this board. And I would like to remove most of that if I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down about an inch or so right here to get a lot of this wane off. Then I'll flip this board over and do the same thing on the other side because there's one on the other side as well. Now I know that there are probably some people right now typing furious comments about this board right here because this board is a really nice or could be a really nice 2x8 and I'm about to cut it down into a 2x6 and waste a fair amount of this board. And you know, I get that, and that's probably a little bit wasteful, but the, the way that my brain works, I'm not a particularly organized person. You can probably tell by the condition of the shed back here. But if I have like three or four different piles of lumber and I'm putting a board in one stack and a board in another stack and a one by in one stack and a two by in another and a four by in another, and I'm just doing that all day long, I'm not gonna get anything done because I'm gonna be thinking about, well, how can I, you know what can I get out of this log? Can I put a one by here? Can I put something over here? Can I put a toothpick over here? And nothing's really going to get done. Uh, it's better for me to focus on one thing, kind of like the last time we piled up a whole ton of two by fours. Extremely productive, very efficient, and that's kind of what I got to do. I got to focus on one single thing and value the time that that saves me not thinking about these logs so much over what I could possibly save, which would probably actually be kind of negligible. So that's kind of my reason reasoning on that.
Well, I've got kind of a long history of being wrong about what I can get out of logs. I guessed five on this log and ended up getting six. So I was happily incorrect about that. So six, very, very nice two by sixes out of that one. A couple of them have some weighing on them, but structurally there's absolutely nothing wrong with those. So yeah, we've got six nice two by sixes to sell. We're going to tear into this log here in just a minute, but I want to show you a mistake that I made just right off the bat here. If you look close, you can see that this log ends about this far away from this bunk right here, and that leaves about this much of the log unsupported by the bunks on the mill. So what I'm going to need to do is move this down that direction to get some more support on this log. It's not going to make it unstable if I don't, but it is going to probably result in some cuts that are not quite even because it just needs to be supported. I won't get good cuts if I don't have an even distribution of the log on these bunks right here. Well, let's check this log out. This is log number five for the day. And uh, the reason that I wanted to put this one on the mill was because it's a really good example of a log that is just gonna be one single six inch cant and nothing else. If we look at the measurements, we're looking at nine and three eighths inches. And oh, actually it's pretty oblong. We're looking at about eight and three eighths that direction nine and three eighths that direction so what i'll do is i'll just i'll just square it up get my six inch cant and get my boards i wouldn't expect to get probably two three if i'm lucky out of it let's just see what we get So I did get pretty close on my prediction on this one. I predicted two, three if we're lucky, and I ended up getting three, so that's really good. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take these top two off of the pile right here and get them on the sticker stack. And then this last one down here is still just a little bit thick, but there's some weighing on the bottom side. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do to try to minimize that weighing while getting my board down to the right thickness. So this very last board here, it just needs to be thinned up a little bit. And the weight on this board would be on the bottom side, of course. I'm just gonna flip it over and take our waste 
off of this top side now so that we uh, get a little bit of that weighing off. It's not going to do much to it, but it will help a little bit. Try to do a before and after here. Here's the before shot. You see the weighing on the top of this board. I've got the camera set to where it'll focus on my face. It should be getting, it's getting brighter and brighter right now. It is, man, it is super, super bright out here. It's best to film when it's like kind of cloudy and overcast because you kind of get a saturation of lighting, but I just, I, it is what it is, I suppose. But um, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I'm sitting on a small stack of 22 by sixes. I ended up milling five logs today. It is, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon at this point, and I would keep milling, but today is my anniversary, and I'm taking Mrs. FLR out to supper tonight. So I have to stop and get ready for all that. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, this stack of two by fours over here, you see I still have quite a few. I have sold 41 of these. Uh, I sold a special order batch of a store bought store-bought dimension nominal dimension two by fours and some one by stuff that was in a video a previous video and i sold a bunch of lumber from that special order batch which was cool um, so i've been selling some lumber i've been getting rid of it i've got about 80 more boards right here to sell and i'm sure i'll cut some more because i got tons of trees out there but i've got it all up on facebook marketplace and i don't know if y'all have ever dealt with facebook marketplace but it is a it is a really interesting place. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I'll quit rambling, and um, I will see y'all on the next one. Say, I'll see y'all on the next one. Can you wave? My son's a lot better than this cat. i got to get him back in the videos. I'll see y'all on the next one.